Hello there, Notion friend. In this video, I'm going to show you my second brain system. I'm going to give you just a quick tour of everything that you can find inside the template. Uh, the template is designed to become your go-to tool for work, life, productivity, and knowledge management. So I hope you enjoy the tour. Okay, so in the dashboard, you're going to get access, quick access to all the elements. So we see we have a navigation menu and you can also switch the the view and you can also change the cover of the navigation bar if you want you can switch light mode dark mode or add a custom cover you can also hide navigation menu and you can use just a quick link that you're going to find on the dashboard to navigate you need to add a task you click this you can open up and you're going to add a task let's say record new video you can decide a due date Okay, and you can apply priority, you can add a project, and you can add an inline note or set to complete, right? So when you do this, you're going to see that this is going to be captured in the quick inbox, and this is going to empty the inbox if you need. So you see next week we have the task that we already add. You can quickly navigate to each section. These icon on each page that allow you to come back very easily to the main dashboard we have this the task management system here you can go to the plan workflow this is a workflow that help you turn goal into project into task and then prioritize and then you can uh, actually schedule your task and then we have our task view as a calendar you see the week the month calendar and this is very handy because we can move and rearrange and do this stuff so the third view we have the habit tracker and we can use this button basically to check off all habits or we can navigate to the habit tracker itself to have more options so for example let me just navigate there and you can see that we have the habit tracker with the new native chart in notion so no need to set up doing external stuff and you have different view okay of your uh, habits let's go back and then we have more like our para system so we have our project we also have our goals and that you can track and then we have our resource management system so we have our notes our resource like bookmarks uh, the books and the watch list then we have the foot bar when we can access the navigation and you can for example add that to your favorites so you can navigate like this if you prefer to navigate like this you also have the page for setting up so you don't have to move across all pages so you can just go here set up the template and then you don't you go back to your template you can then use save to notion extension to just quickly uh, save thing in the resource so you build you actually build your second brain so for example you are in this page you use save to notion and i already set up that but you just can just click and you can say okay this is productivity and you can also add a note for example and then you can save the page this is going to be saved in your second brain directly so as you can see we are inside the resource and we have the article that we already clipped you can click on all these links to quickly navigate to the section and this is going to be a resource you see there are different views that can you, you can use there are this summary note you can uh, organize by collection and you can see all the resource that's let me show you the para system there is a quick overview of the system work if you're not familiar with that we have our project we have our area with a quick overview of things related to this area we have our collection think of that as notebook there is the note system that you can use to manage your knowledge and you can see there are overview uh, you can organize by adding uh, a collection and it's going to tell you if you have connected this idea or not so for example you want your note to be connected to something so for example you can have like this morning routine idea and you can add to the collection of self-improvement for example it's going to be removed from here because it's right now is connected so then you have summary inside and you can use ie if you have to quickly have an overview of the content of your notes or you can write anatomy idea so like the summary uh, of the idea that you write in your notes you have your resource and then you have your watch list your reading list and then there is the archive each database 
have a way to archive stuff. So for example, I can open this note and you see there is this checkbox that I can click and it's going to remove from here and you're going to find inside the archive. So let me show a bit of the workflow. We have our process workflow. This is basically a way to uh, turn your actionable and your resource organized process them like. So you have your inbox, you have your task that have no date. And so you can add a date, for example, you're going to see the project they need to be to have a, a timeline or to have the need to have a task. And then we have our goal and we can sort our resource and add in project. And this is the same connection automation that you've seen before. You can sort your note, you can sort your watch list, the reading list, and then you can move to the connect and distill workflow. You have some inside and ideas that you currently have. And like this is going to show from your notes, from your watch list or from books that you are reading. And there is just a nice way for you to see your ideas and to summarize that and to improve your knowledge this way. So you have like uh, the notes, the resource, you can summarize the book, you can add insight or quote and the watch is the same. And then there is a section to review and the clutter. So if you have like some resource, some books or some watch list, you have added to the system, but it's been two months, three months and you didn't have read that or organized that, it's going to remind that maybe you want to remove or process this information. We also have a get things done style review system. And I'm going to show very quickly how it work. We have a weekly review, a monthly review, and a yearly review, and they all come uh, pre-built. And so you just need to, to fill them up. So you see this is the weekly review, and you have your reflect and process, analyze and improve, plan and schedule. And there is, like, you can see the, the task completed, and this is all automated. So you just need to fill and to create the new review. This is the quick overview of the second brain system. I'm going to record a more in-depth tour of how everything works, how I personally use that. But for now, I think that, that gives you a quick idea of what is inside a template and how you can use that. And I sell these templates, so you can find the link in the description. Right now, I'm also running a promotion of 50% off. So you can find all the link, all the details in the description. And I hope you enjoy this quick tour of Notion. And we're going to see in the next video.